These are the top best white paint colors to use in your home. And we know this because they are the eight best selling white paint colors by Bare Paint. And before we get into these colors, I wanted to go through the three whys of white paint. The first one being, why do you need white paint in general in your color scheme? So if you're picking colors in your home, you might be looking at colors, things that are dark, bright, vibrant, maybe lighter, maybe darker. But unless you're a fan of a minimalist interior, white paint isn't something that always comes to mind when you're picking colors for the inside of your home, especially. The thing is, it's always handy to have a good white paint color at your disposal, especially for things like ceilings and trim and baseboards. Those tend to be painted white in most cases, or at least the majority of them. And that's because they're bright and they reflect a lot of light. The second why I wanna answer is, why is there so many whites? Isn't there just the one? Well, when it comes to paint colors, it's a little more complicated than that. There is a wide variety and a wide spectrum of lightness levels and darkness levels, undertones, all those things. And each white paint color actually has a subtle nuance that may serve one interior better than the other. The third question I wanna answer is why are these eight white paint colors so popular? Why don't we go through them one by one and then I think we'll have a good idea why. <laughs> the first color here is called white. So of all eight of these white paint colors, this is the one that we would deem to be closest to a stark white. Not necessarily because it's the brightest white, but mainly because it feels the most neutral and balanced. If you've ever bought a can of white paint, it may not be pure white. There might be a little bit of gray added in to soften it and maybe enhance coverage. That's where this color sits in. So it's not the lightest of the bunch. I would say it's probably the most balanced. So it doesn't really lean too far into a cooler direction where it goes blue or definitely not in the warmer side of things. So not a lot of yellow or cream. Those will come later. To me, this is great marketing because if you want white, just grab white. You don't need a fancy name. This is what it is. Next up, we have a color called Frost, and we're already starting to see a bit of deviation from your traditional white. This is actually lighter. So it's actually four points lighter than your basic white, and it also has a touch more coolness to it. It's subtle, but it's there. When we think of Frost, we think of cold weather. There is a slight cold undertone here. So we're getting a little bit brighter here, maybe a touch of a bluish green undertone present, definitely more so than the last color. The third color is Vibrant White. And this one's interesting because it does have some vibrancy to it, but not because it's extremely bright. It sort of sits in between the last two. So its light reflectance value is 84. And that is one of the darker whites on this list. But what makes it so luminescent and bright is its coloration. It definitely leans a little more into the blue side of things. So I find when white paints have that blue quality, they can look like they're almost glowing, like an orb or something. That's the orb. That's what Vibrant White gives you, but just keep in mind that it does have that slightly cool touch to it. So if you were looking for something that was just pure stark sterile white, this one is maybe a bit too cool, quite literally. Up next is the quintessential brightest white called Ultra Pure White. And with a name like that, I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? I almost feel like this should have been named Vibrant White because it is the most bright, vibrant color there is, but Ultra Pure White does the job too. So this is one of the brightest whites that I've ever seen, really. And I will say that it does lean a hint towards the warm side of things ever so slightly, but not because it has any yellow in it, it just doesn't have any of that blue. So you do get this really aggressive bright coloration. Bayer does advertise on their website that it's part of the green color family, but I think that's just a bit misleading. This is just a very bright white, simply put. Cameo white is where things start to get a little interesting because this is a color that is a borderline off-white, even though it's part of the eight most popular whites by Bayer Paint. This color has a little more gray added in. It almost has a touch of brown as well. And curiously, this one is part of the white color family, even though the bright white was green, apparently. I'm a huge fan of Cameo White, and I think it suits a lot of different design styles really, really well, as long as you're not looking for a bright white. This color does have an 81 light reflectance value, which is in that top 20% of all colors. So it will give you some really nice light reflection, 
so your space will feel nice and bright and airy that you use it in if you were to put it on your walls, for example. But if you wanted this on your baseboards, just be aware that you will notice its coloration, although it is very neutral. It's very passive, it's very muted, and that's why it's so popular. There aren't many white paint colors that I would immediately suggest as a wall color, but Cameo White is definitely one of them. Another one of them is Swiss Coffee by Bear Paint. This color is a little bit brighter again. We're at 84 LRV here, which means it reflects 84% of the light that hits it. But this time we definitely see a lot of that warm undertone coming through. This is a color that I do equate to white chocolate. It's very creamy, very light, bright, but definitely has that yellow undertone to it. Sometimes yellow undertones can show up as greeny in very unique circumstances. But because this one is very simple and streamlined as a color, I don't think you'll have that problem too often. And if you are concerned about that, you just gotta test the color out first. In the right circumstance, especially if you're into white chocolate minimalism, link up top if you wanna see a video on that. This is a color that I would just cover a room with. I'm talking walls, baseboards, crown molding, even ceilings. It just has a beautiful balance where it's really bright and vibrant, but feels like it's a paint not just a primer. It's warm, creamy, and sophisticated. But just keep in mind that it's not a super stark bright white either, kind of like Cameo White. So there is that little bit extra. Whisper White, on the other hand, takes some of that warmth found in Swiss coffee, but then just adds a bunch of white on top of it. This color is very, very bright as well. Has an 89 LRV. So this is one of the brightest whites here. It does lean towards the yellow side of things in terms of its undertones but it's not nearly as noticeable as Swiss coffee. So this is more of a subconscious warmth, perfect for things like trim and doors, if you have a warmer color scheme that you're working with. Also light enough for a ceiling that I'd feel comfortable putting it on because it will reflect a ton of light back into the room, which I think is important with ceilings in most cases. Not a paint color I see recommended too often, but clearly if it's one of the top eight best selling bare paint whites, then it's obviously doing something right. But I think my favorite white paint color by Bear is an even brighter version of that last color. And it's simply called Polar Bear. Right on brand with Bear paint. This is a color that has a touch of that warmth present, but it has a 90 LRV. So not quite as bright as ultra pure white, but bright enough that it's gonna look absolutely fabulous. This would be one of the baseboard colors that I would recommend first to a lot of people if you were thinking of the perfect trim color, for example. If you're a loyal subscriber, you've heard me talk about it a lot on this channel. I gotta say though, I'm also a huge fan of Arcade White by Bear Paint, which we talked about in this video right over here. 